Chapter 952, The Princess and the Fish Boy. Gone sexual. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pod Cast. I'm the best guy ever and this is Give and Take. Hey, you got my name right. I did. I guess that's, yeah, a, a give and take. I don't know who that other guy is. He's dead. Uh, we killed him. This is He's been dead for years. Take. Uh, it's true. Maybe, uh, I, I think that you're a guy who ate a hippo devil fruit, so you, like, switch between them at a moment's notice. This is my my theory. Oh, and maybe one of those is, like, what if you were a guy who ate a zoan fruit, and you were, like, a superhero hippo man, and then you'd, like, transform back after you were done with your heroics for the night, and you're just a normal fuckboy human? Yeah, I, I'm a given who ate the hippo fruit. Oh, yes, that's excellent. And, like, the weird hybrid, kind of like, um, well, okay. Uh, so in no way human, human, human at fruit. all. I just can't speak, and <laughs> I'm, like, a complete beast. <laughs> yes, that sounds accurate to me. Maybe the hybrid form in some way is some weird human-esque looking thing. Anyway, chapter 952, Hiori and Kawamatsu. Here we go, people. But first, cover story continues. Volume 3 of Gang Beige's Oh My Family, My Wife's Wish is My Wish. So it looks like they're going to go do Lola, I mean, sh- sh- chiffon things to find Lola. No, Sounds they're going to do Lola. That's what uh, Chiffon wants. They want to hmm. go and do uh-huh. her. Oh, shit. Oh, they could, like, wife swap, and it would, like, not make a difference because they're the same guy, basically. Wouldn't that be something? Is Lola married to anyone? Uh, okay, it wouldn't be really a wife swap. It'd be a one-sided wife take temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it, a new it, show a called Wife Take. Permanent Wife <laughs> Take. It's my favorite show. <laughs> All right, let's get to this fucking chapter. Let's meet our boys on the Ringo and see what's going on. So Zoro ran after uh, this guy, and he's fighting him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the sword-stealing man. man over the bridge. What's uh, this fucking guy's Guki- name? Gilgamesh? Gukimaro, that's the Something one. Something like yes. that. Um, mm-hmm. Zoro looks to have the upper hand, and he's asking mm-hmm. him, like, uh, you know, give up or die. Mm-hmm. Why are you stealing all them swords? Blah, blah, blah. And and then and then he he does a big sort of motion, mm. and he starts <laughs> explaining like there's no way I can let you have the sword. The sword is Shusui, the special national mm-hmm. treasure of Wano. Um, from the moment it was taken from this country, spells the start of our misfortunes. Yeah, I don't know uh, how like whether this is actually a misfortune sword thing or whether it just coincides with another event. That's not one of the cursed swords or anything. No. I'm, like, he says it's the god sword was angered by this sword like, being like, taken it, out of it Wano. Could be, it could be, uh, like, letting us know, like, or setting up mm-hmm. a potential backstory as to why the sword was taken. Like, it well, was, it was at history. the grave It was at the grave of the guy who was the zombie. Ryuma, oh, no, wait. yes, yes. Wait, if it was at the grave... Yeah, the, the zombie was stolen by Moria, so Mo- when Moria it, yeah. came... I was going to say, the, the, the timeline relatively checks out. That So Ryuma, as far as we know, was probably buried with the sword uh, that was famous with. Maybe it was at his grave. We know that Moria came here, stole the corpse of Ryuma, which actually, by the way, incidentally, I believe it was said it had kind of like mythical properties because like it had been hundreds of years, I believe, but it had not decomposed. It looks pretty good. It, it, I think it has like a holy quality to it, if I remember correctly. I have to I have to look that up later. But, uh, yeah, so Moria stole the corpse and probably the sword along with it. We don't know that for sure, but that's probably yeah, what happened. Yeah, I mean, he's and, talking uh, about a sword god who mm-hmm. was angered by the sword's um, stealing, and then villages were mm-hmm. defeated until the whole country became overrun. I don't mm-hmm. really know what that could be referring to, if not a supernatural god thing. But there hasn't it's really been... Be... Like, everything's been explained mm-hmm. by at least some sort of magical devil fruit power that we understand. Uh, yeah. Or hacky well, I mean... or something. Like, there's you never know, been, I, like, outright uh, mm-hmm. magic. Ghosts don't actually exist. You know? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, One Piece is a little different from real life, but even in real life, like, the, the, the Shinto beliefs of the Japanese people, and they're also Buddhists, there's, like, a mixture of those guys, they believe in, like, karma, and they believe in, I mean, I don't actually really know the details of how Shinto works, but they believe in, like, spirits and, and ghouls and goblins, well, and I yeah, think that's what that's ghouls the thing, and goblins They're, they're, they're shown to be sort of backwards <laughs> in their believing of ghosts, even though Brook is he's just a guy with a devil fruit, and they call devil fruits demon magic. Um, uh, th- that's true. That's so, like, true. this guy, it, it, there's hmm. some explanation for why misfortune happened. Uh, something to do with Moria, maybe something to do with Moria and Orochi. 
I don't actually know the time frame for all this, but M my uh, yeah, yeah, it could yeah. be it could be interesting lore seeds being mm -hmm. planted right here. That's possible. Here, my, my guess is just that it's. I, it seems to me that like guys like this, people. I hear this a lot in like anime and stuff. People seem to attribute things to karma and like God that are probably just relatively coincidental. I mean, the the timeline would match up about twenty years ago. Could have been. I mean, maybe like right before that happened, like Moria got beat up, and it was at that time he stole. He happened to be in Wano and stole the corpse and the the sword and shit and fucked oh, off. Oh yeah, with him. Kaido's. And been then here. like. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then like after that, Kaido and the Orochi Revolution happened. So maybe it was just like a timing coincidence thing. Could have been, but eh, maybe there's more to it. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it definitely makes sense that if Moria was here, it mm -hmm. would be because he's either on Kaido's ship or about to attack him or some. I forget like the, the mm. backstory, but they have beef. So they like, certainly if they're do. both in one, then uh, Kaido's takeover could have happened at the same time. You know, it's almost it's almost uh, uh, worth just remembering now before I forget about it that uh, Moria's whole backstory was that he had a crew that he loved back in the day, and it was Kaido's crew that absolutely smashed them and I think killed everyone, if I remember correctly. And so his his like psychological way to to deal with that was to even though he he already had the devil fruit that made zombies, how convenient that he decided to be the guy who has an immortal crew of people who are not alive, therefore they cannot die, and he won't be able to lose them. So kind of a rationalization there. And now we're meeting the crew members: Queen, King, Jack, all the all stars and whatnot. Kaido himself. Those are the boys who actually did the deed. So uh, so that that's kind of cool context to have going into these guys. What do you what do you think about the potential of Moria being relevant to the story in maybe this arc or in some well, future arc related to I mean, to right Kaido? before right he, before this has, arc started, yeah, he did arrive in front of Blackbeard mm -hmm. and he had a little. He thing was there, there to kill Blackbeard, I believe, to like get Absalom back, if I remember correctly. But then we saw that Absalom is probably dead because um, what's oh shit, what's his name? It's Shiryu. Uh, the, the swordsman from Impel Down, who's on Blackbeard's crew now, he now has the Sube Sube no Mi, the invisibility devil fruit. So that does not spell uh, a positive things for our boy Absalom. His photography career has probably come to a tragic end. Um, so, I mean, and Moria, I think we don't really see him being killed. Maybe we do. I, I don't think he'll be super relevant. I think he'll probably pop up again, just as, like, a prisoner of Blackbeard whenever it could Blackbeard be. pops back up. You know... Mm -hmm. Thematically, I think yeah. it could be that Moria's Devil Fruit will be in the hands of Blackbeard or someone on his crew. It is a great Devil Fruit. That would be like a, that would a be a very uh, appropriate sort of mm -hmm. evil mm -hmm. thing for Blackbeard to have. Very true. We know he's hunting abilities, and uh, Moria's is great. That's a really, really good one. Huh? Good call. Good call. He could do that. Anyway, I hope they do. Uh, they're fighting, and mm -hmm. they seem reasonably evenly matched, and then. Kawamatsu the Kappa Man mm. uh, s swooshes out of nowhere. And There's a lot of, like, cuts to different scenes and then characters kind of just, like, showing up where they need to be in this chapter. Uh, but that's fine. Whatever. It's yeah, I don't cool. really know why he was going in, in this direction. Yeah. I, just, I guess I just fanning out or maybe he had Maybe it was mentioned Ringo. previously. It's hard to keep track of all the geography and all these characters. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. There's Kawamatsu. So he sees a samurai and a monk fighting. Mm. Um... Uh, he says it's a farce when they have no intention to kill each other. So I guess Gukimaru is like, since he saw earlier that Zoro like protected the woman, he's not going mm, to murder mm. him. Yeah. Um, but he yeah. is not going to give up the swords either. And Zoro is a good guy. He doesn't want to murder this guy just because he has a sword. He's just, you know, yeah. I, I just want my sword back. Uh, so that's Indeed. nice. They're, they're they're not evil. And there we get Hiori just being like, ka 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 wo matsu uh, uh, ka 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 uh, uh, <laughs> uh, go zoi mas ka wo matsu for the first time in a million years. And so, oh, okay. Thank yeah, so we switch hello. over back to Onigashima. Mm -hmm. um, Kaido and Big Mom apparently have been fighting through the night. Uh, so, the, the beginning of the chapter said the next day, and now we see these guys. Yeah. So, so, yep, yep. So cool they're just fighting. continually fighting. This wasn't as we expected or as we had imagined, just a greeting. I think they are just going at it, but it's just yep, taking a long yep. time. I, mm -hmm. Do you really think that they could be fighting all the way up until the the thing happens? Um, It's, po it's possible. I, I really think that, like, I think at this point we've got something like, like a week and a half, like a week and a couple of days. 
I think more likely something happens, and, and like I said last time, Big Mom will leave in some fashion with, like, her crew or something. But I could be wrong. I don't know. It, it, it also kind of works as a distraction for Kaido up to the very end. I, I just kind of don't want Big Mom involved. I want it to not be the Big Mom show, you know? So I, I kind of hope she leaves before the shit goes yeah, down. I, I mean, obviously... I don't really want it to be Kaido was fighting Big Mom for so long, therefore he's weak enough for Luffy to defeat him or something. Mm -hmm. You know, that just like we did with uh, with uh, uh, Katakuri. Now, thematically, I think the Katakuri fight makes a lot of sense, and I, I, you know, I had problems with it at the time that seemed a little silly. Now, I've it makes more sense to me how it was kind of Katakuri like kind of gave up on that fight. It seems to me as opposed to like was physically overpowered by Luffy. But like with this one, I mean. Uh, once the once the arc is done and we see whatever maybe Kaido gets actually beaten, I'm gonna be thinking back. You know already, lads. I'm gonna be thinking back to like how many conveniences that were not done by the Straw Hats, including Big Mom's appearance here to fight Kaido. Like her being around does make sense. She was gonna follow the Straw Hats, but like they couldn't have planned for this to happen. They couldn't have like intended for all this shit to go down. I'm going to analyze it and be like, okay, like. Was this at all a reasonable expe expectation for the plan? And, uh, uh, you know, I, if, it's, if it's dumb, I'm going to say it's dumb. But if it's not dumb, then I'll say, great, it wasn't dumb at all. So uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll it's there. already, like, the plan didn't include her. So, like, whether she does anything or not, it's Well, like it depends it how much difference it makes, you know. Like, if she weakens Kaido and that's why Luffy's able to win or whatever, I'll be like, yeah, well, I mean, that's some bullshit. What but... I would like, what I would like mm -hmm. is for, like... Oh, Big Mom and Kaido have been fighting for a whole week, and they're mm. so tired, and yet no one can do anything anyway. Yeah, I hope so too. And then Kaido's just like, ah, that. fuck it, just have a drink. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Like you don't, you, you can't beat him, but you can like, uh, you know, get him drunk. Indeed, indeed. I, I, yeah, I hope something like that happens. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, Queen is uh, all. All of the soldiers are like, "Oh dear, we're <laughs> we're right underneath a big battle right now. We're gonna die." And Queen is saying, "Huh, you guys, you you can't, couldn't possibly think of leaving. You 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 <laughs> fools, you cowards." <laughs> um, then he gets a call from Old Maid. No, no, no. He actually, first of all, he says, you idiots looking for an excuse to leave, then picks up the phone. Let me see if they need my help over at the uh, at oh, the yeah, prison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's immediately looking to... for a way out, but, like, yeah. doing it so <laughs> casually. Like, yes, uh, well, Damn, I so mean, cash. Uh, I could come help if you need. <laughs> good man, good man. And, yeah, the he has a little funny conversation. And then we t it turns out it was Old Maid. Actually, mm -hmm. I thought it was and like Old a... Maid is saying, yeah, we, we, we thought that there might be something funny going on, maybe someone impersonating him, who knows, but Old Maid just says, everything's fine, we don't need you here, don't come, we got Luffy and, and uh, uh, Killer locked back up, oh, and, um, and Kid, so nothing out of the ordinary, don't come, shut up. And Queen's like, make something up so I can come. Uh, but no, it does not go down that way. Yeah, and uh, I forgot about Otama and her power to turn animals into friends. Yes, which, uh, at, it's at this point, we've even got Raizo being like, oh my god, okay, so Old Maid was clearly fed a kibidango from her devil fruit or whatever, and he just, he's just does what she wants now, he's just a total ally on her side, and, you know, fucking, uh, Okiku is like, yeah, seems like these fucking things work on anybody who's either an animal or has eaten, like, an animal, an animal art, aka a Zoan devil fruit, this is, like, so, would this work on Kaido? Who would I, this not work on? I mean, I That's think I, I had that idea, like, right away. Like, oh, Kaido could eat it we and did, be yeah, submissive. Yeah. But, like, we haven't actually seen her use it on a traditional zone. It's only been these smile, uh, not smile. Hmm. Uh, what are, I, they yeah, are smile. Smiles, They're yeah. smile users. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the half animal hybrids. It's worked mm -hmm. on the lady with the legs. Uh, it's worked on uh, just right, an animal. Centaur. Mm -hmm. It's worked on the mm -hmm. big monkey, and it's worked on this guy, so not yet has a Zoan been turned. That's fair. That's fair. Mm. And it wouldn't work. A chopper wouldn't be a good test subject. Okay, it's not going to be on him anyway, because he was originally a reindeer. I want someone who was originally a human, and then it is Zoan fruit. I mean, so, it yeah. could be interesting if, like, it only works on a Zoan if they're in their animal form. Hmm. Because smiles are, like, kind of trapped that way all the time, you know? Yeah. So they don't really have, uh... Yeah, yeah. But, like, um, I imagine if 
uh, this does get like fed to Kaido as like the secret plan. We've got to try and make him submissive. This is a yeah, this is our it should be trump card. They have to like mm-hmm. sneak into the banquet instead of mm-hmm. trashing it and put a kibidango in the meal and hope Kaido eats it. That should be their plan, honestly. That's a that's a solid plan at this point. But then he'll probably conquer his hockey it out, or I I don't fucking know. He's too well, he, he powerful. He sniffs it and he says, "Hmm, uh, I don't like it." And then it all goes <laughs> wrong. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that. I hope I hope something like that is at least attempted. Or maybe they're gonna try to acquire troops just by using these kibidango to just make all the fucking Kaido smiles on their Man, team. They're getting so many troops. It's like the entire the country. The, mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. everyone. I will, we'll see later. But like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah they, they've conquered the prison. They've got the uh, presumably the other, like the Scorpion Man on their side. I would assume, unless he's just dead. Maybe, um, maybe. But like, uh, Caribou is here laughing. Yep, he, he's, he's the one on who their helped side. him out with the snail. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know why Rizo said it's all thank- thanks to you, Caribou. I forget uh, so what he I was, did. I mean, I know I he did something too. good. I, I think what he did was he's the one who captured... Oh, no, no. You know what it was? He was the one who knew the location of the transponder snail thing that they had to capture. And then Rizo and him were able to like go like grab uh, yes. that and pull it off the grid so they could do this thing and not have their the news break. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Very very smart handyman. Mm-hmm. Very helpful. Very helpful. Uh, everyone's saying thank you, Chopper, for saving our lives. Chopper Of course saved he it. made a cure to the thing, no problem. Yeah. Off screen <laughs> he did it well. He was doing it for Luffy, so we saw it. But um mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Luffy's fine. And then uh Hyogoro's there. And then uh, the guy we saw a few chapters earlier when uh, uh, Big Mom was smashing up the place, this yep, guy that I thought was hats. a character, he is a character. He is, a, he is <laughs> Torn Straw Hat Sunogoro, one of four of these, uh, these um, what do you call them? The regional Yakuza leaders. Re- Yakuza, yes. Yeah. So Pretty cool. Got, Pretty cool. You know, e- yet more character designs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, I'm sure they will have some relevance, but not that much. Could you imagine, like, the size of the piece of paper you would need to draw all of the, just the Wano introduced characters? Oof, oh my goodness. It would be a very large chart. <laughs> it would not be worth the time, because most of them won't matter. Like, I think, did we get names for all of those, uh, you know, the, the, the tall head guy with all his ninja guys? Did all those guys get intros? I don't, they, I don't they think didn't, they did. They, no, they did. They got little, little panels where you could see did their they? names. It was a waste of time, because they don't matter. <laughs> I guess a little... I won't begrudge Oda his little panel for characters with cool designs, I mean, which they do have. Yeah, I mean, he's good at character designs. Of course, uh, of course. And uh, this will give... This would give... I mean, it, it, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's fine. Um, that these characters, these Yakuza guys, and mm-hmm. other smaller, you know, low-key, unimportant ally characters are going mm-hmm. to be fighting the ninjas and some of the other yeah. low-key, unimportant characters on the other side. So I'm we, sure we'll, that's we'll true. see like a panel or two of like, haha, I do this, mm-hmm. and then you do that, and this is my power, and then yep. uh, then it'll be like, oh, Sanji's fighting this person. That's the main fight we're focusing on. Indeed, that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so th- these guys are okay. They're all regional controllers. I, I mean, that's kind of cool to match them up to the area. Like Ocho the Moonflower. She's a butterfly lady. She's got silly butterfly hair. She's a cutie grill. I like her. And she's from, like, the snow place where they're currently fighting uh, 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 Zoro and Yukimaru. That's that's kind of cool. I like characters and yeah, things. Yeah, you know, I kind of like know. One Piece. <laughs> And I think we said everybody's name. Bullseye Yatape, Bloodletter Umasa, Torn Hat Sunagoro. There you go. Cool guys. Yeah. They'll do something. Oh, they and get they get to do the most important thing immediately, probably, that uh, won't ever be as relevant again. As they well, first of all, they say, "Ah, boss, boss Yogoro, we're here. We're your best friends. Uh, thanks for letting us out." Yeah, we're, we're gonna get all we of the things. criminals. We have all of the the, mm-hmm, the connections. Mm-hmm. We get all the criminals on board. <laughs> um, and then immediately Luffy says, haha, nice, nice uh, friends you got there, Gramps. And then Uh-oh. they immediately uh, st- uh, strap him down, they do Yakuza get thing. a knife they out, say, and start Lol. torturing him. Or say they're about to torture him. Indeed, indeed. And this is the, the most interaction they will have with a main character of the show. Definitely true, definitely true. <laughs> 
They'll, uh, they'll get to say in 20 years, like, ah, yes, Pirate King Luffy. I once held his hand, sort of. <laughs> I once was going to kill that boy, and what a I time it was. I, I was in, like, like, I was in like five panels with that, that <laughs> Pirate King guy. I like that panel as they're walking off. They look cool in the darkness. They're yeah. knockers of darkness, boys. Sick. Uh, well, there they go. Yeah, so then... We switch over to mm -hmm. Curry Abandoned Port with all the nice ships uh, to be fixed. And uh, that whole mansion blueprint from, like, uh, the Ocarina of Time uh, quest line from yeah. uh, earlier. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. They, they, they have it now. They just have it. It, it, it was, um, I assume, Azura Doji had it the whole time. Remember that, like, the, the end of that quest line ended with, like, someone stole it from, like, the last person they found, and the man who stole it was Ashura Doji. It was their fucking, their fucking boy, uh, the thief man. And it, isn't that... Isn't that a... Convenient. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course you'd want it. It's useful. I, I, it's just, like... <laughs> What if what if you were playing literally playing a Zelda Ocarina of Time because a video game comparison is apt for this and you get to the end of a quest line and like you're doing like you you follow this like I don't know five step quest line you give a character a help he helps you you know go to see another character he helps you point you somewhere else and then at the end he's like oh it got stolen and you're like well that sucks at the end you go back home and like like your dad was like oh, oh that was I have that like I'm the one who stole it from that guy well, it's at the not end. exactly the same I know it wasn't that much but because they still they still had to recruit Ashura Doji into the fold so it was still like. It Part just means the, that was kind of pointless. Know. It they, was pointless. Because yeah. if they just got Ashura, they would have got it now anyway. He would have given it to him. So, okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it could have been a thing that they were like, ah, uh, but we really need that blueprint. Oh, the blueprint? I have it. Like, they didn't need the earlier, like, search for it. No. Like, at this point, you could have literally cut all those panels and just now ha simply had and said, like, oh, Asura Doji says he has something that'll be useful to us. It's the blueprint. Yeah, yeah. We were hoping to get those. And you would change, have to change nothing about this panel, it's just, except a couple of words. Yeah. Eh, whatever, man. It's eh, fine. It's fine. It <laughs> is. It's just sort of like whatever. I'm going to reread uh, uh, this, you know, arc once it's done, and I'll, I'll see how things like that feel in my, in my bones. Yeah, so Rizo gives an update. He says, mm. uh, yes, we took over the prison. We have 3,500 people. N Nani. Uh, uh, they, they, we, they got <laughs> Sir Luffy, and they got Kaomatsu, and they conquered the mine, and oh my god, that's a lot of stuff we have. They did not expect all of that benefit from simply a mission to try to save Luffy. So uh, pretty pretty good haul for old Rizo. He's really pulling his weight. Yeah. Uh, so then he goes into the, the next thing that they need to do. Uh, weapon factories. Mm, mm. They were making weapons, but they're all being exported, I assume, immediately. Yeah. And there's not many stores of weapons. Or I, I, I'm not sure like what the implication is here. That the, the weapons made for foreigners are not like samurai swords, and therefore I think that's the idea. That's and my therefore guess. Therefore, the metal is not being used to make swords that we can use in our army because the samurais mm -hmm. want samurai swords. They want katanas. They're such mm. weebs. Those uh, those there's, Japanese you know, thousand folded blades. They can cut through European steel and guns. Makes them invincible. I saw the last samurai. I know how it goes. I saw the first samurai. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that should be the prequel. <laughs> uh, it's like, what, if, yes. what if I just sliced with this, just this sword? Hmm. hmm. Big brain idea. Uh, kill them with a knife. This is my samurai Bushido Yeah, technique. yeah. He, he, he was buttering his bread, and I saw, hmm. <laughs> what if this knife was just really big? <laughs> you know, a, a slight tension. Did, uh, did you ever read Toriko at all? Sorry, you cut out. What was that? Oh, I was just. Have you ever read Toriko, by, like the food manga back in the day? Did you ever, did you ever read that? Nope. It was just that there was. There's like one little mini arc where like, because it's about chefs and then people who hunt ingredients are like the the Luffy Goku type characters. And there's a chef Kawa. I think his name's. Is his name Kawamatsu? No, I can't remember his fucking name. But the chef, like, there's a thing where he gets like a legendary chef's knife that can do things like slice fucking atoms for peak deliciousness, which enhances yeah. your power level by ten billion percent. And there's the one thing where he's just like, he's sitting at the table, the knife just got made, it's like a milk knife. He drops it, or like he like, just does like a simple chop. And it does like a crazy like Zoro Samurai like explosion of slicing. This knife is so fucking good. It like cuts an entire fucking cliff and house in half. Um, and that's probably what the first Samurai experienced when he was buttering his bread and <laughs> accidentally channeled his key too powerfully. Nice work, dude. 
Yeah, he 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 turned his toast into hockey toast, and they, they couldn't <laughs> yeah. bite into it. He took like, yeah, black toast. <laughs> He's like, hey, you, you, you cooked it too long. Why is my toast black? They'll say, but it was golden brown when I handed it to you. I don't understand. Then he realized <laughs> it was hockey all along. Yes. So Good. Uh, <laughs> they're saying the weapons are going to be difficult to obtain. Mm -hmm. um, I assume... Oh, wait, no. Of course, I, I had this thought earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously going to be the sword man Gyokimaru with all of it's his gotta swords. Be. It's got to be. So that's the next thing that happens. Uh, Known hoarder of weapons. Yeah. yeah. And oh, uh, also, also, uh, I don't know if this was established before, but uh, Kinemon says, like, I'm going to make Amigasa our base of operations. So maybe we'll see, like, an HQ sort of thing going on. That'll uh, be cool. I don't Amigasa know. Maybe that already village. Happened. Is that the first village with the Tengu long nose man? Or am I, I, I believe crazy? it is. I believe it is. Yes. Okay, so finally he will be relevant once again. Oh, you're right. That's probably true. It's probably he true. has just been sitting there being like, ah, <laughs> I got to blow my nose, but it's too far away from my face. <laughs> what a tragedy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they're, 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 everything's going swimmingly. They've got so yep. much stuff. Um, they're about to get weapons because uh, Kawamatsu is here on Ringo Ohaigi Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, Hiori, they're having a reunion. She's crying about stuff. She's like, I'm so sorry I left you. Because uh, I was scared. And he's like, ha, lol. Idiot. <laughs> but also, I forgive you. Because it's cool, though. There's something I'm not really sure about. Uh, maybe yeah. if I go back and look at the, the short backstory there was. Mm -hmm. But like, um, she said, I could not watch, stand watching you grow weaker and weaker as days pass by. Is that because he was like giving his food to her or something? Yes, yes. That was established previously, I believe. Okay. He was giving her all the food. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and then, you know, he fattened up in prison on... But one fish. fish a day, one poison fish a day made him really fat. I mean, for, for some reason, it seems like people in Wano, it, you know, this is, it's funny because it, this is kind of true in Sekiro too. Uh, it's just like uh, you know, another game set in like Feudal Japan or whatever. It's just like uh, people seem like they can get by on such an incredibly small amount of food. Aren't you like starving to death? Like if I had one cup of rice per day, like surely I would, I would waste away to some degree, right? I'd be... I'd lose my, my svelte physique and nah. become a, a twink physique, you know? Food is overrated. If you, don't, if you never eat food, <laughs> you never get hungry because you've never known. Damn. I, I, I kind of feel like that's the logic we're operating on here. But, uh, okay. Like, at the very beginning, it was, uh, like, Otama, for, when we, she first met Luffy, she gives him, like, one bowl of rice. And this is, like, an amazing feast that she gives to Luffy, uh, which was really nice of her, but... Like, how do you live? Like, how are you alive? How are you going to grow and not be, like, horribly stunted? Uh, I don't she, know. Maybe she is stunted, and she's actually 23. <laughs> she's legal, boys. Doors open. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they're having a tearful reunion. Kapapa's Kapapapapain. He sure and, is. And um, <laughs> then, from out in the, the mists, comes a guy with a gun, mm -hmm. and he shoots the gun. <laughs> Ouch. And there's so many guys with guns. Guns are always... They're always Pathetic. more powerful than you would imagine. But uh, it knocks Only Gyukimaru at plot-relevant times. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Gyukimaru apparently stole all of their weapons. I don't know who these guys are. I assume they're Orochi soldiers, but they look no, like they're, bandits. They're clearly members of, of Kaido's crew. You can tell by their clothes and their, their, oh, their oh, demeanor. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So, he stole a bunch of Kaido's weapons... Um, and uh, they're getting revenge just right now. Mm-hmm. Conveniently, while well, Zoro and Kawamatsu are here. And then Kawamatsu and Zoro are like, huh, T no, T not, not today. Personal. <laughs> and they slice him up instantly. Gukimaru runs away, though. Um, I'm not sure why, but he's, he says he recognizes Master Kawamatsu, so it's like a... Yep. He, he's... Probably gonna go, like, get his weapons cache and bring it to Kawamatsu. Like, please have it all. Or yeah, something. probably. He's, uh... You know what it would have been... Uh, I'm just saying, if, if it were up to me, if I was the one writing this, it was previously established that, like, Kawamatsu has, like, a really cool sword or something. I, I forget. It, it has a name, but I, I don't remember what it is. And he's got it right now. I'm just saying, Oda, if it was me, I don't know exactly where you're going. Maybe it'll be perfect and I'll be the fool. What I would have done in this exact situation is... I would have not given Kawamatsu his legendary personal sword before. I would have given him just, like, some normal sword he picked up. And then at this moment, I would have had, like, while the, there's a fight going on uh, of Kawamatsu and Zoro, I would have had Gyukimaru be like, 
ah, I know how to help in this situation. I will go get Kawamatsu's legendary sword that I collected from the battlefield years and years ago, and we'll give it back to him. Uh, so good, instead, I don't really know why he's running away, other than just to bring all the weapons or something. Well, obviously, Zoro and Kawamatsu are going to chase this guy, and they'll, like, go to his cache, and they'll, like, find all the weapons he's got. So th this is going to be the answer to our whole weapons dilemma. Yes. Um, so, so, fair enough. So the only thing left for the good guys to get done is for Frankie to m mend the boats. Indeed. To get the weapons to the boats and get all the people to the boats with the weapons to get on the boats. Mm -hmm. oh, they also need to break out those guys from jail. Those. Uh, oh, those yes. They have to break that guys out from jail. Mm -hmm. Law is still in there. Correct. Um, Correct. His crew is out. They are going to probably try and get him out. Mm -hmm. The, the, the samurai sympathizers are all locked up, though, so they got to be. Yeah, so the samurai sympathizers and fixing mm -hmm. the boats and then getting everybody together. It seems yeah. like things are going very well. They're going smooth as silk, baby. Uh, they go, they're going uh, maybe yeah. a little too smooth. We need, we need a couple bumps in this road. You know what I'm I saying? I mean, we're, 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 we had some bumps, but, like, um, I, think, I think this is building to, like, everything is about to go well, and then suddenly, uh-oh... The plan's ruined because of this thing or that thing. It is, it is, as I've said before, when things go according to plan exactly, uh, the audience is bored. Almost, almost all the time. So we need, uh, it, it, that's how like shonen writers think in my, in my many years of reading. This is what I've come to expect. So maybe they'll prove me wrong, but like, we just need to look at Whole Cake. The whole point was that the plan went horribly wrong and they had to adapt on the fly. And that was interesting and fun for us. I think the plan will go according to, to plan. I, I, I actually think this one will work out better because like in, in this situation, oh, in, in that situation, we kind of saw that like all the troops working with Big Mom were kind of really well organized under, like sure there's infighting and stuff. While Big Mom herself is like a crazy unknown, you got Katakuri there who was built up as like the perfect like administrator of, you know, protection and justice and killing boys whereas with kaido's crew things are way more disorganized and slapdash i think it's more likely things go according yeah, to plan it's, they get to the island but then it's just a tough fight and they gotta crazy yeah, things happen once see, they get there it's a weird thing because like big mom had uh a powerful crew the most powerful no that uh the guys had had faced yet especially on Indeed. their home turf mm -hmm. um uh they were well organized and they you know beat them at very very early points, like pretty, mm -hmm. pretty well. You know, they got N Luffy and Nami uh, locked in a in a True. cage. Luffy always gets Mom. fucking captured by the enemy. This boy needs to get his head out of his ass. But like, uh, they they have their power very clearly established. But they also, you could see the cracks in mm -hmm. the family bond unit. Like, Indeed. not everybody. Indeed. I mean, very clearly at the beginning when Big Mum killed one of her sons, mm -hmm. it was established that this. This that guy did not bond. die, though. That guy did not die, but he was well, hurt real bad. Yeah, it looked like it, though. Bonked him on the head, kicked him in the butt, you know? <laughs> True. Like, he, he had a big boo-boo, and he wasn't very happy about it. And the, he lost, know. like, 50 years of his life or something. That, that sucks. So like, <laughs> so, like, that set up that this familial bond is not as strong as a non-familial actual bond that the Straw Hats have. And sort of not like to a, mention, that was perfectly summarized uh, thematically by the fight between Luffy and Katsukuri, which it was the lack of bond and the lack of conviction yeah. in what he was fighting for, which is why yeah, Luffy was able to beat him. Pretty, and also dumb. perfect that it's like mm -hmm. uh, Sanji and his actual family also are there, and it's like Indeed. a whole, like, it's it's a whole family and, yeah. themed arc. Kaido oh, and Wano is like, I don't, I don't know. I guess we are tough guys. We want to win. I don't know yet. I don't mm. really know yet. I mean, I mean, it's time to get to it, Oda. We need to learn about these characters. Yeah, it seems like a big plan. Like, the plan for Whole Cake was, like, mm. it came kind of late when Beji was like, we're going we're gonna to take down Big Mom. Here's how we're going to do it. We yeah. have the plan. We have everything in position. Are you with us? And Luffy's like, hell yeah. And mm. then they sort of do a couple chapters, and then they enact the plan. Yeah. This has been, like, the entire arc. They already knew there was a war effort. Mm -hmm. And we're learning about the war effort and the thing that the challenges, and and the world and the reason Wano needs to be re uh, saved, and all, all lots of plot and lore and tangled webs. Uh, I just, it's it's it's, it's a, a lot little of stuff. Less it's a lot of stuff and not a lot of heart yeah. yet. Y yes, and I, I've said m my fear for this arc, my fear, and so far it has not really been assuaged as of yet. 
My fear for this art, like, okay, Whole Cake Island was all about Big Mom and her crew. And it was like basically the best arc ever. It was like so good. Her crew was so fascinating. I love their dynamic. It was great. Um, my fear for this arc is that we, like what I, what I want is for us to get into like the, 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 like the concept of the beast pirates, learn about Kaido. Like how is he able to attract these people to him? What's their goal? What's their mission? Right now all we have is they like to be strong and conquer and have things. That's okay. It's pretty generic pirate. It's just not that interesting. I think the yeah. Big Moms was way more was way more interesting and thematically relevant to One Piece and whatnot. But my, my my fear is that we don't really characterize Kaido's crew very much, and instead this arc is used kind of as a stepping stone to introduce us to concepts like the Rocks Pirates, which is kind of what's happening right now with the whole Kaido Big Mom clash. It's like they were on a crew before. We've heard before that like their old members like are coming back to life. And I kind of feel like those people, that's like literally end game one piece, those guys. And then Kaido will kind of be stepped over to get to this larger threat going on. Yeah. Now again, that that's only my worst case scenario fear. I don't even know that's going to happen, but I I just sure hope we don't kind of ignore Kaido stuff for, I for mean, that. I mean, it it definitely feels a little bit like this is becoming more about Wano than it is about Kaido, to the point where mm -hmm. I don't know whether Kaido will have enough... It, like, Kaido probably won't have a flashback in this arc, but like, Lord Oden will. Imagine you know? if the... I, I, I totally agree with you. I, I definitely think that he will get a flashback, Kaido, but, I mean, we'll, we will... We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll find out as we get there. Like, imagine if Whole Cake Island didn't focus as much on the big mom pirates. It focused on, like, the poor, oppressed people of Totland who had been displaced by big mom coming in and, like, conquering their lands. I'm not saying that arc couldn't have been interesting, but, like, I think the big mom stuff is a bit more fascinating. Uh, yeah. There's, you know, th that's, kind of the, that's kind of the idea that I'm trying to get at here. Like, like when I said it's a whole lot of stuff and not a lot of heart, people, I'm, I'm sure, are going to, uh, like, point to, like, but what about uh, Jesus sacrificed on the cross? Huh? That was good. That was that, good. Wasn't that like heart wrenching? And I'm but like, that wasn't yes. Kaido stuff. That was all Wano well, stuff, you know. Well, not that it was like Wano rather than Kaido, but like, mm -hmm. there's so many things happening that I can't really get an attachment to mm. like any one of them. It's just yeah, sort of we, like we spread only, out. Even that Jesus moment, which I think we both agree was a, was one of the highlights of the arc. It was, and, it and was frankly, a highlight, but like, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I said at the, at the time, it was like, yeah. something feels like not as epic or like not as mm -hmm. heart-wrenching or emotionally uh, moving. I really reason. think it's what you said. Like, it, it just, just, I'm just saying, for, this is a crazy example. Imagine if it was just for a crazy example that wouldn't happen, like Usopp. Imagine if literally Usopp died in the middle of Wano. It would be like the most earth-shattering, like heart-destroying moment in like One Piece history and would fundamentally be a, a gigantic change like to the series. Look, I know it's not going to happen. My point being, we have so much attached in it to Usopp. We like think about his dreams. We know his history. Everything he's overcome to get here. But like, but this guy, we get, we get a flashback. Pretty, pretty good flashback. Not a bad flashback. I like the flashback. Um, and, and I, I'm sure that we will characterize him more when we do the Odin flashback, you know, later in the arc, which I'm sure will happen. But, like, at the time, it's like, I mean, I like the guy. He's got a sad backstory. I appreciate what he's doing narratively. He's trying to, like, it, it was plot relevant, too, that he's trying to, you know, make the conspiracy seem like it was just a thing he was doing. That, that was cool. Uh, but like you said, there's just so many characters going on. We only knew that guy a little bit before that happened. And they're like... I mean, we get weird things like, oh, wait, he's he's the Witching Hour Boy, too, who did something? Oh, wait, no, he's not the Witching Hour Boy. He just said he was, uh, and he's dead now, and he's got, like, the smile thing that he ate. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of telling that, like, the saddest thing about his death is Otoko. Is Otoko, yeah, yeah. Rather than him, because Otoko is a character we care about a little more because she's had true. more scenes that are more memorable. Very true, very true, and I do like Otoko more. That's That's a fair point. Hmm. Okay. So all, all this is to said, Oda, you got you got some work cut out for you, buddy. Don't don't do us dirty. Just just uh, stick to the plan. Answer our big questions. Give us some heartfelt moments, which I know you'll deliver. Uh, I just hope that uh, opportunities are not missed, especially vital ones to the experience of One Piece, in the service of I don't know introducing a million more characters who don't really do that much for us, at least at the time. Um, and and we'll see. Well, of course we'll see how it all works out. As always, just talking, just talking shit, people voicing our, our concerns, our fears, and our hopes. 
and let's hope they come to fruition in the future. Anything else to yeah. say about the chapter? I'm looking forward to the next one. New swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward. I mean, I, I would really love to see how this all comes together. Mm. The big it's gonna plan. Be epic. The big uh, stuff. And I, incidentally... I, yeah. It, it, sorry, but incidentally, we don't know um, Gyukimaro and Kawamatsu's relationship at the moment. Was he perhaps his teacher? Are they well, best he friends? Yeah, he says Master Kawamatsu, so I assume... Mm, yeah. Um, like, oh, you're... You know, you're mm -hmm. a, 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 an older, more like he could be an underling or like a yeah, a, a, a senior a guy to his junior something or other. Uh, it, it, yeah. it seems pretty likely that uh, Yukimaro was like collecting swords in the hope that there would be like a, a rebellion at some point. That, that's my guess. Maybe he was an Odin boy. We'll learn. I'm sure we'll learn very soon. Um, yeah. So we'll see you next week. Doesn't say there isn't one. So as always, hopefully there'll be a chapter next week. And we'll, we'll see you there. Uh, Patreon.com slash the podcast. Wait, what is it? Patreon.com slash the podcast pirates. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Give us a dollar. Be a colored hero such as us. And uh, be a commander. Be a, be a god. Give us lots of money. That would be a truly ideal. Uh, and be in, in the Discord that is down below. Join the crew by giving us money on Patreon. Supporting this show. Justify our talking about One Piece every week. Um, and that's it. And that's it. Is there anything else? I miss anything? Uh, you can join the pod Discord for free and just talk shit yes. about One Piece. So link down below. Have fun. Active chat. <laughs> Gonna be a good time. All right, that's yeah. it, everybody. We'll see you next week, probably. Have a good time. Enjoy One Piece. I like you. Bye. Bye.